Hey guys, thanks for joining me here on Chocolate Pitney. If it's your first time here, it's a pleasure to have you. And if it's not your first time, welcome back. Thanks for your continued support. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a dash of color to your knotless braids. The first thing I did was pre-section the hair in order to get the sections as even as possible. I did some big chunky sections because I wanted to add the color to it. And um, adding the color to the chunky knotless braid is the better option. Mind you, this is not a knotless braid tutorial. This is a how to add color to knotless braid tutorial. I am not able to do a knotless braid tutorial just yet because I'm still learning how to do it. I have not perfected the craft and so I am not able to teach anyone how to do something I am still learning to do. Um, this is my third time doing a knotless braid and my first time doing a chunky knotless braid. So far so good. I grade myself 60 out of 100 on knotless braid so you know definitely I am not able to do a knotless braid tutorial yet but you can learn as you watch um, this most exciting part for me in this hairstyle is adding the color to the hair and that's what this video is all about if you are interested in learning how to do knotless braids if you don't know how to do it just yet there are a whole lot of videos on youtube that teaches you various techniques on how to do knotless braid you can just search for some and learn how to do that until i learn how to do it i won't be able to um, give you a tutorial but that should come soon because i'm getting better as i go along Now on to the most interesting part of this hairstyle. I'm going to be adding the colors here. So the first thing I did was make a small corn roll down the middle of the head. This is going to be the base of my crochet braids. Yes, I'm going to do crochet braids because I'm going to add the color to the hair by the crochet braid method. So this corn roll is the base of the crochet braid. I want it to appear as though the color of the hair is going from the scalp and so the thinner the corn roll is the better it is for me because when the colored hair overlaps it, it will not be bulky. So this is what I'll be using, some colored hair from the soft jumbo hair. I just got a few packages and then took small portions from the packages and cut them into four pieces, each of them into four pieces. So those here are from the Bijou, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but the Bijou brand. And um, I'll be using them to add pizzazz to the hair. So this is how you add it. Put the crochet needle beneath the corn roll, grab the hair, pull the needle back, then push forward and grab only one section of the hair. You're only going to grab one section. In regular crochet braid, we grab the two sections back. But for this invisible, invisible look, we're only pulling that one section of the hair. I'm going to slow it down again so you can see. Let's do it again. I'm going to put the needle beneath the corn roll, grab the hair, pull it beneath the corn roll, push the needle forward and grab just one section of the hair and pull it through the loop and tighten it with two simple tug on the ends. You do this repeatedly until you get to the top of the corn roll or till you are satisfied with the amount of hair that is added to the corn roll. I'm going to do this again for those in the back. I'm going to put the needle beneath the corn roll, grab the hair, pull it back beneath the corn roll, push forward and grab only one section of the hair and pull it through. 
that's all you do and you pack them as close as possible because if there's a space between them then you will see the cornrow so you pack the colors as close as possible to each other and you continue until you have covered the cornrow or until you reach your desired look so i'm going to speed this up because this is the same process being repeated now i have all my rainbow colors i'm going to start my knotless braid i learned something from doing this braid because i added the color to the hair it got a little bulky i didn't take that into consideration when i started my knotless braid started adding the extension but the next time i know or because i did it already you will know if you try to do this what you should do is add the hair add the extensions after you start braiding the hair so you may want to make three passes down with the natural hair first and then you add the extension as you get towards the end of the the natural hair because this hair was already bulky with bulky rather with the colored hair it got really thick and and probably too thick as you may see what i'm doing here is hiding the colored hair beneath the dark hair because i only want the colored hair to be showing right there in the middle that little rainbow dash there that's where i want all the colored action to be happening not in the plot so i am talking the hair beneath the colored hair beneath the dark hair as i go along and i'm adding more hair to more extensions to the braid i hope this is helpful to you and i'm not um confusing you i'm trying my best to explain this as best as possible this is a learning process for us too because this is my first time doing this i just thought about it and thought I'd give it a try and record it as I go along. So it's a learning process for the both of us. But if you try this, I'd like to see you tag me in it. If you care to try to add a little color to your braids, you could tag me in it so I could see the outcome. Um, I think probably you would do a better job than I did since you're learning from my mistakes. Um, so that is it. If you notice this here is a bit chunkier than the others at the bottom because of the extra hair that is in it and because the hair at the top is already thick with the colored hair I had to add extra hair at the bottom because I didn't want a big chunky plait at the top close to the root and then the end of the hair would be skinny and wispy so I had to add more braids to even it out as I go along so that's another lesson to learn. So I'm on to my next colored, um, my rainbow patch, whatever you call it. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be crocheting, crocheting the hair and I'm trying to be as consistent as possible for this side to match up, with, for the right side to match up with the left side. So I'm trying to do add the same proportions of hair. Um, to the to the corn roll. Now I have added my rainbow dash. I'm gonna do the knotless braid. I'm gonna try my best to balance it on the right side so it would be even with the one on the left. As you can see the one on the left is really thick and chunky and it is outstanding <laughs> as you can see it's outstanding um, it's kind of lifted off the scalp but um, I'm loving it it will get better <laughs> it will get better learn with me I'm just gonna let you watch because this is just me repeating the same step as before so I need not talk you through this so go ahead and watch do enjoy the rest of the video I'll be adding some colors to the end of the hair um, when I'm done so you can stick and stay for that as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on Chocolate Pitney. I really appreciate it. 
if you have not yet liked or subscribed to my channel I ask you kindly to do so because it's free and I really want you to so stick and stay with me until this video is is done thanks again for watching